After a day of relative peace, the protesters are pushing the limits of this truce between the security forces and the whistleblowing demonstrators using ladders uh, and pincers to try to tear away the barbed wire around the Royal Thai Police Headquarters. So far, the police have not responded to these provocative moves. The demonstrators insisting that the democratically elected government of the Prime Minister must step down, a move that her top aide says is both unconstitutional and undemocratic. The proposal of the protesters are undemocratic, unconstitutional, and they already announced that if, even if the Prime Minister resigns or there's a House dissolution, they're not going to stop protesting. And that, so it, both, both options in the democratic process doesn't seem to satisfy them. The police have shown remarkable restraint as the protesters seem determined to test them with every link of razor wire they remove, with every block of concrete taken away from the gateway to the Royal Thai Police Headquarters here. Now part of the lull in the clashes that we've seen this week has been in honor of the King of Thailand, his birthday to be celebrated on Thursday. It's anybody's guess what happens next. An important institution to follow? The military. Seven years ago, the generals overthrew the government of the older brother of the current prime minister. This time around, they've played a much more neutral role, a top aide to the prime minister, tells CNN, even helping broker a meeting between the leader of the protesters and the prime minister. The military will be important to watch as this drama continues to play itself out in the streets of Bangkok in the days and weeks ahead. Ivan Watson, CNN.